Well, I think in the second slide that I uh, showed you today, when you get into the central nervous system, almost every part of the brain is connected to every other part of the brain. So there have been some really elegant studies done in animal models uh, where they take the auditory cortex. Normally the auditory cortex is very responsive to sound stimulation. However, if you deafen an animal and then go and try to record from the auditory cortex, it's silent, it doesn't respond to sound anymore. But if you take a little von Frey hair and touch the animal around the head, neck and shoulders, anything from, from the shoulders up, that'll activate the auditory cortex. Light stimulation will also activate the auditory cortex. Even though it's called auditory cortex, it actually gets information from touch and vision. So when you begin to lose your hearing, probably the somatosensory inputs from your face, jaw, shoulders, uh, activated. We did a study on tinnitus patients and we found about 68% of the people could modulate their tinnitus from, from the shoulders on up. So it's not rare, it's actually very common. So I was going to say, within, in my practice I see an awful lot of temporomandibular joint dysfunction. And it's not uncommon for patients to have, say, some wax or um, get, go diving and get some middle ear fluid. There's in an attempt to try and alleviate the block in the ear, they move their jaw excessively because we all do that on an airplane. And then what happens is the middle ear clears and the hearing normalizes, but you'll be told that I've still got a blocked ear and it's painful and the pain goes down the side of my, uh, down the side of my jaw. And in actually moving your jaw excessively to clear your ear, you then sprain the, the joint of the jaw and you get a condition called Costin syndrome. Uh, and by actually then having seeing a dentist and getting a bike on, doing relaxation exercises, then the ear can return to feeling normal. But um, sometimes the discomfort and the pressure from the jaw can be far worse than the initial problem with the uh, ear.